United Nations mission in South Sudan. Uh, and, uh, and thank you for your interest in today's press conference. The country is at a crossroads. It's at the fork in a road. <coughs> but it can still be saved from further major escalations of violence. It is up to the leaders of this country and the two parties. Both President Salva Kiir Mayadit and former Vice President Riyak Mashar, who's leading the forces against the government, have both said to me and to others uh, that they want to talk, to have a dialogue, and to give peace a chance. They can still pu pull the country back from the brink. Identify your media outlet and also we call for both parties to use this first day of the new year to take a decisive step for peace. To cease all hostilities from today. And to mark the beginning of the new year, 2014, as the day the fighting stopped. We want to make this day the day that the fighting stopped. Threat, whoever the perpetrator is, and at this point in time, uh, we are uh, doing that. Uh, I condemn in the strongest possible terms the atrocities committed against innocent civilians of different communities by elements from both sides who have exploited this crisis. There is no excuse for these terrible acts of violence. All perpetrators must be held accountable of the lack of resources. The scale of the crisis is too big, simply and UNMIS will continue to protect civilians. The scale of the crisis has challenged an already overstretched mission. We now have approximately 68,000 people that have sought refuge in our camps. And they are uh, in 13 different locations all over the country, or in, in the three major states, first and foremost, and security uh, of people in the neighborhoods and through our presence to assist in that respect. And I want to assure you that our humanitarian colleagues have been working around the clock to assist in this crisis. And they are also providing assistance uh, to the more than 180,000 displaced nationwide. I want to underline that this is not only, therefore, people in camps. Significant efforts are made to protect and help and provide assistance to uh, internally displaced elsewhere in the country. There are very many IDPs out there that are now being assisted. And I want to mention in particular Aweryal, uh, which is a location uh, south of Bo. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of IDPs. Uh, there has been missions flying in yesterday and today. Uh, we believe the numbers might be as high as 60,000, but we need to register first and see so that we can see the fighting stop. And as I said, that we see this as the day. Totally 166 million US dollars uh, are needed immediately for immediate response to be able to assist uh, the internally displaced uh, in relation to the crisis. We urge all donors to come forward and assist because the conditions of the IDPs are not good they're in desperate need for help um, on all fronts. Water, shelter, sanitation, uh, food, uh, health services. A significant effort needs to be made to assist them. The United Nations stands together with all the people of South Sudan on this very day. Um, the leaders of this country have a historic responsibility to the future and people uh, of this young and new nation. And we hope that today marks the beginning uh, of a peaceful era for South Sudan and that this new year can become a happy new year. And so uh, in this, in this